It's very hard for me to think about the fact that it's been 10 years since Dylan was killed um, because, it, and you know, it's also just like a blink of an eye and I could still look in the rear view mirror and expect to see him sitting in his car seat in the back seat. One decade later, survivors and family members who lost loved ones in the Sandy Hook massacre are reflecting on the tragedy. Nicole Renee Hawk, a second grader at the time, says she remembers that day clearly. And then we started getting let out, told us to close our eyes, which thankfully I did. There's, I know some people who didn't and now they have to suffer with that image in their minds, but luckily I kept my eyes closed and we walked out there safely. Mark Barden, who lost his seven-year-old son Daniel, spoke about his son's caring nature. He would lit literally stop and pick up the worms off the sidewalk and put them in the grass so they wouldn't burn in the sun. Or he would carry the big carpenter ants out of our kitchen because they thought, he thought they should be outside with their family. The gunman killed 21st graders, six educators, and his mother before taking his own life. 